So what did you guys think of Ezra Fish? She is absolutely one of my favorite artists, one of my favorite people. I'm so glad that we could bring her in for Makeup Waves. Kara Kennedy, uh, amazing young artist, young voice from uh, Inverness. So super excited that we could have her here uh, with us tonight as part of the Front Stage program. Uh, we'll be really quick with uh, the announcements, of course. Um, Making Waves doesn't happen by just one person. It takes a whole village uh, to make this happen. There are partners, City Credit Union, uh, Ultramar, Proto Case, Cape Breton University, Cape Breton Beverages, and Marine Atlantic. Um, they all show incredible trust in our team to uh, bring live music to you. And on our part, uh, we do our best to bring the best live music that we can that shows you artists of uh, all across genres, all across cultures, all across many dynamics. We hope that you enjoy them and continue to come see them week after week with us at Made of Waves. So next week, We'll have uh, Tell Mary and Havana Sama. Uh, Tell Mary is a Cuban rapper. Uh, the band is coming from Miami. Uh, incredible, incredible music. And we'll have our, uh, the ultimate Cape Breton party band, Slope Booster. They were the first ever headlining band of, of, uh, of Make a Play in 2015. So uh, that'll be Cape Breton Beverages night. Uh, 75th, celebrating 75 years of Cape Breton Beverages next week. This week is all from our community night, and, uh, and we're so glad to uh, have celebrated that all with you tonight. We're going to get right back into the music. Um, I want to encourage everybody who's able, that's sitting down in the stands to join us up front, because it's going to be a party. This is one of the best live shows that you'll ever see. For 10 years, Neon Dreams has been at the forefront of the East Coast music scene. From the club scene to the festival stages to international sensation, these guys come by things through honesty and hard work. They've had gold and platinum singles, they've accumulated tens of millions of streams, they've played sold out shows, won numerous Canadian awards, including Juno Awards. But more than all of that, the band practices the positivity that they preach. Our friend Ryan McNeil from the Bear McNeils last week, he said to me when he asked about who was playing this week, and I told him to be on dreams, he was like, you know what, when I was in South Africa, I heard those guys, I didn't even know they were from Nova Scotia. When I was in South Africa, they played those guys every single day in the radio. When their music was viral hit in South Africa, thousands of kilometers away from their Halifax home, Neon Dreams took a trip in the middle of the pandemic. They became Goodwill Ambassadors for the Justice Desk, a nonprofit organization that strives to teach youth about human rights at a young age and help them to defend those rights throughout their lives. And beyond the music, that's one of the reasons why they're a must-have on every festival stage across this country. I'm so happy to work with these guys again. Please give it up for Neon Dreams.
Thanks for the